Hey everybody, uh, Math by the Moon, uh, here to talk to you a little bit about polynomial functions. Uh, today we're gonna talk about some polynomial vocab, uh, their degree, uh, their leading coefficient, uh, some of the basic parent functions and their iterations. <clears throat> um, and if you look at some of the more uh, in-depth polynomials, what their turning points mean in, in direct relation to their degree. So let's get after it, let me share my screen. And the first thing I wanna talk a little bit about is polynomial functions and, and what they look like. Um, first of all, you got a polynomial function is gonna be something with positive exponents and they're gonna be whole exponents. Um, like quadratic equations, like some things with x squared and x cubed and x to the fourth. Um, when I say the degree of a polynomial, I'm specifically talking about the highest exponent. Uh, coefficients, you guys know what they are. They're a number in front that's multiplying with the variable. Um, a leading coefficient is going to be a very important phrase that we use to actually tell us what the, the curve does on each side of the graph and I'll get more into that with you, but the leading one is the first one with the highest exponent. Um, and you guys know what a constant is, it's the number usually at the end. So here we'll just do some classifying polynomials, so I'll just grab them and drag them. Um, even, even polynomials are gonna be based on the exponents, odds are gonna be based on the exponents. If they have a positive leading coefficient or a negative leading coefficient, that's gonna change the way the graph functions. So. Here, when you look at it, you want to find the highest exponent, which is a square, so it's an even. And this is a negative 2 in front of the x squared, so it's an even negative. So that goes down here. I'm going to grab another one. Here's highest exponent is a 2, and it is a, it is a coefficient that's positive, so that's going to go over here. We'll get more into this as to what it means in a little bit, just trying to classify them for you. Highest exponent here is a 5, so that's an odd and it's got a one in front, so it's a positive, so I'm gonna put that over here with odd positives. Here I have another odd positive. And this one right here is high degree of four, so it's even and it's positive, so I'm gonna put that over here. Um, here I have, it's an odd degree, that's the highest exponent, and it's negative, so an odd negative, I'm gonna put that over here on this side with my odd you move my mug out of the road. Let's get it over here. So um, the last one, oh, there's a few more here. This is an even positive. Um, this one here is an odd with a negative two in front. So that's an odd negative. And this one is another odd with a negative one in front. Uh, this one is an even, you say, good, good. Even positive with a one in front. So there's all the ones that we can, we can just classify them first before we get into the major detail um, and talk about end behavior. So let me pull up just some uh, parent functions here. Uh, in our graphing calculator, we have um, these two graphs, y equals, move over here, y equals x squared, y equals negative x squared, and let's look at what it does to the graphs. Um, x squared is a simple curve parabola opening up. And the negative x squared takes that and reflects it across the x-axis, okay? So <clears throat> we see the parabola with a regular x squared has a positive one in front of the x squared. So it's an even positive, and it's opening up on both sides, on the left and on the right. And that's going to help us understand what happens with the negative. So when you take and do the square first and then multiply it by a negative, the answer is going to, instead of being positive, it's going to go the other direction because the last thing you do in the order of operations is multiply by that negative one in front. So naturally that negative leading coefficient sort of trumps what happened in the parent function and flipped it downward. Same thing on the other side. It was going up. Now it's going down because that negative leading coefficient. Um, so quadratics, they, they go the same way on both sides because if you square a negative, you still get a positive. So even on the, even on the, the left side of the graph, you're still going to get a positive result. Uh, even on the right side, you still get a positive result. So regardless, squaring something, you get a positive. And that works for all even polynomials. So then we can look at x cubed, right, and see what happens. Now, you're probably thinking if he said cube, when we square something, it didn't matter what sign it was. It, we always get a positive. Now when we cube something, 
we're going to get a positive on the positive side because any positive number cubed is a positive. But what do you get when you cube a negative? You get a negative. So here's our x cubed parent function, and it looks exa almost exactly like our x squared. We had to almost watch as it unfolded. So this curve right here, whoo, that's our x cubed. So when you cube a positive on the right side of this graph, all x's are positive over here. When you cube a positive, you get a positive. That's why it's going up. And over here on the left side, the x's are negative. So when you cube a negative, a negative times a negative times a negative is a negative. So the graph of x cubed goes up on the right, but it really goes down on the left. So I'm trying to get, this is x cubed, regular x cubed. This is negative x cubed. So I'm going up on the left this time and down on the right. You might get me fully interactive here in a little bit. This is x squared, negative x squared. Negative x cubed, because I'm going up on the left, positive x cubed, threw one in there. So, ready? Even or odd? Even. Even or odd? Odd, right? That's an odd, but it's negative in the front because I'm going up on the left. This is an odd positive because I'm going up on the right and down on the left. So you can, you can kind of get, get jiggy with it, no, 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 or whatever you want to say. You can make all sorts of dances or whatever. Um, but now we can go back to these right here, and I can look at every single one of these, and I can discuss the end behavior. And any even positive, any even positive graph, okay? Any one of these even positive graphs right here, I know that it's going to go up over here, and it's also going to go up over here, no matter what. End behavior. That high degree, that leading term, always will eventually dominate the graph, no matter what. And if I ha that's an even positive. Now I look at this, this even negative right here, and I know that it might, it might do like a lot of wiggle, 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 wiggles, right? It might do some wiggles, yeah, but eventually, no matter what, it's gonna go, it's gonna go up on one side and up on the other if it's an even positive. And if it's an even negative, so this graph right here, this graph right here is an even positive. It might have a whole bunch of extra, extra stuff in here that's going to make it change direction in the middle, but eventually on the left it's going to go up and on the right it's going to go up. Okay? Um, if it's an even negative, like this guy down here, Now, what we know about an even negative is it's going to go down like this. And it might wiggle, 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 yeah, in the middle, but eventually it's going down on the left, and it's going to go down on the right no matter what. So it could look like that. Now, these wiggles do tell us some things, okay? Um, the wiggles tell us the degree. Now, not exactly the degree. If it wiggles and turns turning points, they're called turning points, or relative max or relative mins, those turning points. If you count them up, the degree is going to be one higher than that. So here I have a turning point, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven turning points in this graph. That means that my polynomial is going to actually be degree eight. Now it might have like a whole bunch of terms in the polynomial. Um, but I do know it's a negative leading coefficient. It's going to be a negative leading coefficient because it's going down on the left and down on the right eventually. Um, I know that it has seven turns. So that means it's going to be an eighth degree. So it could be something like negative two x to the eighth, and then a whole bunch of other things, other terms that are lower than x to the eighth. Now those are even, even polynomials. Odd polynomials. Start with the basic parent odd, All right? There's the parent odd, and that's going up over here on the right side, and it's going down over here on the left side, all right? And the, that's, that's if it's got a positive leading coefficient. This is x cubed right here. 
And now if I just make, it, it can wiggle, it can wiggle here. We could have something that does this and goes, woo, woo, woo. the bottom line is it's going down on the left and up on the right. It's odd. It's odd because the left's going down and the right's going up. Even, odd, odd, even, evens, odds. So basically, if, the, if it's an even function, both sides do the same thing, either go up on both sides or down on both sides. If it's an odd, strange. One's going up and the other one's going down. That's pretty odd. And we've already kind of discussed why that is, because cubing something that's negative gives you a negative. So on the left, it's going to have to go down. Unless it has a negative coefficient, then that one's going to go up and the other side's going to go down. So let's count the wiggles. One, two, three, four. So there's four turns here. Four turns means it's going to be degree, pop it out, five. Yeah, you're right, because every turn, you're going to get one more degree than how many turns you have. So this could be something x to the fifth, right? Now, it's going down on the left over here. So that means it's going to be a positive leading coefficient. This is normal for a cubic. This is going to be the other way. Uh, odd, not cubic necessarily. but there's your type of polynomial that that would be. That would be the highest term here. It could have a two in front of there, and it's going to have other terms possibly, you know, x to the fourth, x to the third, but that would be the way the polynomial looks, okay? So last thing I want to talk to you a little bit about is the end behavior. So... Here's, a, some, here's just some sketches of end behavior. If it's odd, you can see that it's odd. Both sides aren't doing the same thing, right? If it's an odd positive, like I said, it can wiggle, but it's going to go down on the left and up on the right. If it's an odd negative, it's going to go up on the right and down on the left. And here you have your evens. Both sides do the same thing. Even positive, even negative. And it can wiggle. And remember, those wiggles, however many turns you see, this right here has one, two, three turns. That one would be x to the fourth. It would be the x to the fourth. Would it, it would be degree four. This one has one, two, three, four, five. That one would have degree six. And you can tell that all I'm doing is adding one to that information. Um, so... I do want to talk to you a little bit about n behavior and how it's written. Um, I'll do that in another video because I feel like this has already been long enough. Um, and I'll wait to see what you guys tell me in terms of what you want more of um, before I go into any more detail and take up any more of your time. So uh, look for another video on just n behavior. I'll just talk about that. All right. Let me know. Later.